All right, guys, here's something a little different, a uh, drive-by truckers lesson. Uh, this is uh, Never Gonna Change, uh, Jason Isbell, drive-by truckers. Mm. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you, uh, this is the way he plays it, but if you listen to the truckers album, they've, they've tuned it back, maybe a half step, maybe a whole step. So uh, if you want to play with it, go on YouTube, look up Jason Isbell live, and he often plays it in standard tuning, so you can find something you can play with. Uh, the, the, I, I, I've seen Jason Isbell live in a small setting a few times and got to watch him to figure out what he was doing on this song to make it so cool. <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs we play in our band, Cadillac Willie. And so what, um, what he's doing is the, the key to the whole deal is a chord called the E minor 7. You can play it down here. But he's playing it up here in the open setting. And what the fingering is, you know, it's like an E minor. Normally you play an E minor like this but you're changing your fingering. You're putting your point, pointer finger on the second fret uh, on the uh, A string, your birdie finger on the second fret on the D string, your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and your pinky finger on the third fret of the E string. And here's what you get. I'll kind of show you. So, okay, the way we're getting that to break down the, uh, the strumming pattern is I'm approaching, going down, really the first two strings. And then I'm going down again and hitting all of them. So it's like, so practice that. Okay, you didn't get that down, there's like, and then I got a back forth going, you see? So it's like, okay. Now the next chord we're using in there is a standard D chord. But the way we're kind of making that happen is we're taking our birdie finger and we're pulling off. So make it to that open A. It's all E dominant, you know, there's E minor in here, so. And then all, that's, that's an A, okay? And uh, that, that, that's an A chord, okay? You could simplify it and just do that, but he's got the same deal here as we started with goes away then back see and that's just your again your pinky on the E third fret and your uh, ring finger on the B third so it's like I moved my pinky up and you could just do an A there but he's got that going okay It's kind of hard to watch him and tell what he's doing because it looks like my pinky's off at times, but you can't tell because I'm just barely lifting it. It looks like it's still there. So to really simplify it, it's down. Now I'm lifting my pinky up to go to a normal D chord. See? And then I'm lifting this finger. And I'm leaving this guy down here and even maybe this guy down on this A. So this A chord is your open A. Bar in, and then we've got this guy. Sometimes you just hit the A chord, but then sometimes you have the option to get back into that deal. So look. Okay, so there's some stuff going on with that pinky there. Now, the, that's, that's the intro, and that's also kind of the base of the chorus. So there's not much to the song. What's to the song are the chords and your pinky action. So basically the verse is like... Okay, so that's your E. Then we're going... So it's like E, D, A, then this. Okay, so what that is, is that's a C chord there. And you use that in other parts of the song. But I've still got my deal going here with my pinky and my ring on the first and second string on the third fret. So it's like. So on that D, I'm really kind of just hitting the uh, D string the uh, B and G string. So it's like kind of a, like a. 
And on the verse, I'm kind of on the A too, I'm more just kind of hitting those A notes, the A string and the D string. So I was like, see? And some back and forth stuff over here, but you'll get it. You know, it's just a matter of figuring out the way you want to play it. Um, so the C deal, let me show you that. So we know we're E, D, A, C. But you got to get the. And all he's doing there is we are doing a hammer on the A string, second and third fret. And then we're moving this finger into that C position. So we've now, this one's home and this one's home. And then I'll just kind of hit the individual strings in order. That same string, A, second to third. Right there, I just went straight to the C. So now that C, okay, and then it goes. Look mean and strong. Let's take it from C, D, A. Back to the intro. Never gonna change. E minor seven, D, pull off A. Back to the verbs. Okay, that's it, that's it. Listen to the song, put the parts in. Then on the solo, you know whatever, I screwed it up, isn't it? Whatever you want to do, that's the E minor pentatonic scale. You know, all that E minor pentatonic scale stuff, uh, you know, the, the bass is up. So you're on the 12th fret doing the pentatonic. That's an E note. Same deal. Anybody should. If you want a note for note on the solo, call Jason. I don't do note for notes. I'm a big cheater. Learn the scales, have fun, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.